Hello everybody, this is Joshua with Indigenous POV. Um, yes you are! Uh, Judd and I are over at a place called Suckers Creek and we try to, every couple of days if we can, we come here and we put our feet in the sand and the dirt and make mud pies and walk in the creek. Uh, many years ago, a friend of mine, well, mostly an elder in um, Levering, Michigan, Elder Pine, he passed away several years ago, uh, but he told me something, and I, I didn't really listen to him too much in the beginning. Uh, Not but much I, has changed. No, what? Not much has changed. You didn't, you didn't, how loud, did you say that loud enough so everyone could hear? <laughs> um, he told me, I was going through a stressful time, and I, I would go to Michigan and, and hang out with uh, the World Council Fire, uh, as I re represented the, the Western Door, uh, or was the faith keeper for the Western Door, and he said, JD, you need to, you need to put your, body in the river, your feet in the river, and let your troubles wash away. Uh, you need to touch Mother Earth and, and allow her to connect with you. And at that time I was very, you know, respectful of his words, but I, I sure didn't heed them. And uh, years later when I was back in um, Hope, British Columbia, I, I did a respite thing when I had a, a spinal uh, cord injury, uh, which still plagues me. I did a respite for about seven days and, and had some treatments done to my back. And when I came back, I, I had this kind of a, a rest feeling, like I felt so much better, I felt rested. And that disappeared in a couple of days, all that nice feeling. And there's something I know in, in, in mainstream media, they call it grounding. And when you come to the beach or in an area that is still has a bit of nature in it, there's so many enzymes and bacteria and trillions of identified and unidentified substances that helps you regenerate. When, when I put my, when my, I think it was my mother, when my mother passed, I went to the river here, or the creek, and I put my chair, as I do many times, and I, I put my feet, feet in the water, and I sort of, you know, did prayers to, to, surrender the pain and the anguish I felt trying to work through my mother's uh, death. And there's something that happens to me when I, when I walk on the soil, walk in the sand, walk in the waters, that a, a tiny bit of that respite that I had when I uh, took, took an absolute week off, it starts coming back in, into my body and I feel fresher and cleaner and it also helps my brain because I'm a bit of a, a analytical thinker I, I you know live in my head in a lot of ways um, we, have, we have we have a few people over here I'll show you that are have a fire by the by the beach here and people I know and very very friendly so, um, yeah, it, it's a good thing to do. It's something that um, if I didn't have the grounding, I really notice uh, the world creeps in on me and it's something that really, really helps. What do you think? It's good. So you like putting your feet in the dirt? I like putting my feet in the dirt. Would you say you're a dirty boy? I'm <laughs> a dirty boy. <laughs> I like to make mud pies and sandcastles. Say it slower. I... <laughs> How can I put this on video? <laughs> Don't. 
don't. <laughs> I will. So thanks so much, folks. Do your grounding. Find a place, you know, where you can get that five to eight hertz of uh, vibration from uh, Mother Earth. And well, there's a documentary about it. Yeah, it goes there through is. the science of grounding. You What's it called? It, it, it goes through the science of grounding. I think it's called grounding. Okay, I'll, and you should I'll, link it down. If below. I have, if I find it, I'll link link it up to you guys. Got lots more videos coming. Um, I'd like to keep things simple and practical, but if you need some rest from this chaos and the craziness, uh, this is the best. The, this is the best way. Bring your kids out. Let them touch the ground, touch the earth, because it's healing. Um, yeah, I'll link. Uh, I'll link a video called "Grounding." Take care of a wonderful day. It's coming close to evening, and we're just watching the the sun go down and the river moving, and uh, it's so nice. See ya.